neighbors after several different attempts to pull that out from underneath there and consideration for the fact that I spent so much money on that film I decided to pull the old film off actually pull the new film off take the old film off then I'm gonna install the new film back on I wouldn't try to do Try to pull it out from underneath there is just way too much trouble. I've got this second, the first layer on, but uh, the way I'm pulling it tight is I've um, hooked it to my truck and uh, pulled one side at a time tight, and then I went back through, and uh, I, about every five to eight feet, I put a, a some spring wire, uh, wiggle wire, and tighten it up so that it'll hold it until I get the second layer on but I'll show you I've just got it pulled it's starting to tear right there but it's already done it's kind of pulled it up snug took all the wrinkles out up there and uh, that, that saves my hands um, from having to pull and put the wiggle wire on it okay tubers you see over there I have a, a roll of plastic brand new roll and uh, I'm gonna roll it out and we're gonna begin uh, pro the process for putting on layer number two Okay, I'm not going to bore you with the same uh, process that we used that earlier. I put wiggle wire every five to eight feet down through here. Um, did that all the way around, up and over, because as I'm adding this plastic to it, I'm going to pull those out. Because, and here's a piece of, here's a hole where I made a hole when I stretched it. You can't really put wiggle wire between the two pieces of plastic if it's going to try and inflate it. Uh, the air will make its way through. There's not a whole lot of room in this channel for extra wire, so you really want to use as little as possible. Some people will use double channel. I actually use one piece because it stuff's expensive. One piece for the side curtain and one piece for the uh, the upper plastic and uh, they'll use both layers in that one piece but I'm actually using three layers and uh, I'm going to use one piece of wiggle wire to hold it all I'm trying to be economical the thing I want to make sure I showed you was uh, when you use two layers of plastic you need something to insulate the uh, space between it to actually blow some air between it and uh, I had to buy a pump this is a six cubic meter pump and it'll feed air in between the two layers of plastic after you get the first layer of plastic up you put the bracket up you pull the plastic up to it and you'll put a little slit here and install the pump uh, against the plastic and you'll put this little spacer here between it. That'll keep the outside layer of the plastic and the inside layer of plastic keep some space in between it and the air will come through these holes. I'll show you what it looks like in just a sec. Uh, when it comes, you have to find a way to hook it to a, your electricity source. And I just took an old uh, a grounded cord and uh, I wired it up that way. So I have enough cord to um, run it over to my power source over here. Anyway, I'll show you what this looks like on the outside uh, with the spacer in between. So you see I've got the, the cut in it, kind of a crossways cut, and this little spacer will go right in between there and hold everything tight. And tubers, and that's what it looks like. This will be the, um, the outside of the plastic will come over this. I mean the inside part of the second layer will come over this and it'll leave this gap in between and the air will blow through here in between the two layers of plastic 
and ins insulating this uh, structure so I don't have to use quite so much firewood. When I had just one layer, I was burning through that firewood pretty quick. Okay, tubers. There it is. It's done. Tight. Pretty. It's all buttoned up. Just got to do the uh, side curtains now. I'm sorry I'm having to blow mosquitoes away. It's warm today. And uh, with the rain that we've been having, it's perfect for their uh, breeding. Anyway, um, she's uh, she's all done. She looks good. She's tight. It looks a lot better than it used to. Hopefully, uh, won't be any water pockets in this one. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. I'll show you up close. It makes a big difference. That's one layer. That's two. Um, you can almost see through that first layer into the inside, but it's really hard to make it through the top and you'll see that I got the wiggle wire I put the wiggle wire through both both sheets and um, there is wiggle wire behind there if you can get in there close that's what holds the side curtain up I just have a that sporadically down through here about every 10 feet or so I have a piece that holds this up and then I I actually tied all three pieces together with one piece of wiggle wire uh, most of the way down through there. I'll show you what the you inside go. looks it's like. Pretty tight all the way across. Really looks nice. I am really pleased with the way that looks. Not so pleased with you know, my disarray of my greenhouse right now. I'm getting the permatex. I'm going to fill in that side with that permatex. And I'm going to do the same on this side and uh, put my side curtains up and use what I have on the outside right now will come on the inside for my side walls because I don't think that that roll is going to be enough to finish both sides and on in the inside and outside God bless y'all go plant some dirt and if you ever get the chance to do something like this that's a lot of work. My hands are very sore. That wiggle wire, putting that in with your hands, it'll just flat wear you out. God bless. We'll see you next time.